Let's take a look at what we might do with some comments in Google Sheets with the script editor. So comments are actually pretty important because they allow you to do a lot of different things. For example, if I put in a line that was something like log, this is my message, and I save this, we'll go ahead and give it a name, we'll say comments project, and we'll let that save, give it just a second here. Um, what we can do once we run this, we'll actually see that this is my message comes up in the log. And if I enter the logs, you can just uh, use control enter or command enter to enter the logs. You can see here's my message. Um, this is my message. But comments allow me to do something interesting here. One of the things I can do with a comment is I can actually make that stop happening. Because in app script, everything behind these two forward slashes, the forward slash is the key that uh, it's usually your question mark, it's probably right underneath your colon or your uh, right into the next of the angle brackets or the less than greater than symbol. Um, when we put two of those, it basically tells App Script to ignore everything on this line. So everything that I put on that line is now gonna be ignored and I can have many of these. Nothing is going to happen here, and if I run this, it's going to run. Nothing interesting is going to happen. Now, if I remove these and I run this, you see, oh, it's going to give me an error. Oh, I don't have a, I don't have a semicolon. That's one of the many things that's wrong with App Script trying to run. These are all ignored. Uh, so if we add that back, we should be okay. We're going to not have any errors. Uh, at the end of the line, the comment stops. So it helps to block processing. It also helps us to say, you know, to tell what we're going to do. So we could say, uh, this will log a basic message. And then we can use logger.log to say, this is a basic message. So you can see how this kind of adds some instruction, adds some some description of what exactly is happening in your code. Um, comments are usually pretty good whenever something is not intuitive or something maybe doesn't make sense, or you think that you or another user of your code will eventually run into you know what is happening here. They're a good message. It's like sending a, a letter to yourself in the future that explains what your what your code is supposed to do, uh, and they can they can be a pretty good way to kind of understand what it was that you were trying to accomplish maybe in a year or two or three years if you have to come back to this. Now, we also have the ability to create multi-line comments. So this ends at the, you know, if I type something after this, that's not part of the comment, and I run this, it's going to give me an error and say, probably again, no semicolon. Oh, no, it's giving me a different one, A-D-O-J, it's not defined. Okay, so let's delete that. But if we change this and we put this all within a forward slash asterisk, asterisk is shift eight, uh, you can see everything now is going to be commented. You Everything kind of changed color there. And if we put another asterisk forward slash, you'll see that anything that I do here, any of this stuff, any blank lines, anything that I put in, I can put in bad code. I can put in code that doesn't work. I can put in just nonsense. All of that's ignored. None of that actually happens. It doesn't, it's not interpreted. And it doesn't matter that this comment is inside of this other comment. That, that's fine. That's totally fine. Uh, this allows me to write multiple line comments that can have mul many empty lines. You know, and typically when we see these, we see these to kind of explain some behavior that is maybe a little bit more complicated uh, if we have a lot of things going on. Now, another way that we see these are JS doc comments. And these are JS, JS doc is JavaScript documentation. Uh, it's just used to document and describe your, your functions. So if I were to use a JS doc function here, I might, I use forward slash asterisk, asterisk. The second asterisk kind of makes it a little bit more meaningful. And then I can use this to describe what my function is doing. This function will, uh, will output a basic message. It doesn't need any parameters. It doesn't return anything. So this now will allow my, my function to be a little bit more documented. It will allow me to allow other users who understand how code works. It'll allow them to kind of pick out what is going on in my function. Uh, it gives me a lot, it gives me some capability to describe things a little bit more effectively. Now, if I do have parameters to my function, I can use the parameters to kind of, or I can use some tags in my, uh, in my JS doc comment here that will allow me to kind of explain a little bit more. So if I have something like function, uh, let's call the function simple sum, and we'll take in uh, two parameters, a and b. 
and all we're going to do is return a plus b which is pretty straightforward that's a pretty basic function if we use uh, what that'll do, give us is just the sum of a and b so if we now create a js doc comment for this what we can do is we can say this uh, function is going we'll say will add two numbers and return the result now we can talk about the parameters so we can say at param and we can use instead of uh, we can use at param we'll say number this is the first number to add at param number this is the second parameter to add at param or at return number this is the sum of the first number and second number so this gives us the ability to document a little bit further talk about the parameters that we have talk about what else is there talk about what we can do um, it, it just kind of gives us the idea uh, you know that we are describing exactly what everything in our function is doing uh, we could probably also say number a or param number a param number b just to explain what that parameter is what variable or what param var parameter variable we're talking about there now the really great thing about these tags is that you can use one called custom function and the big value of this one is that when we come back to our spreadsheet let's say we have two numbers six and ten if we use simple sum you'll notice that this is actually going to fill in details so we get this information when we actually try to see and it's going to tell us exactly what's going on so if you look at this this is exactly what we wrote in our js doc comment it's telling us the function itself it's telling us the parameters uh, it is giving telling us exactly what the function is going to do it explains the, the parameters uh, it gives us a lot of information and we can learn a little bit more about that if we click the link you know it'll tell it'll take us to the custom function page which may be interesting or not not sure um, but using this we can pass in say d5 and d6 and we get that sum and it should be d5 plus d6 oh sorry it should be d4 plus d5 there we go and we get 16 so this documentation it's not just pointless it's not just for sending messages or helping other people to understand what you're doing it also has that value within your project you can kind of see exactly what's happening and get that little documentation right in time you know right as you're using it uh, to make it a little bit easier to use your functions in the future so hopefully that's a little bit of insight into custom functions we'll get a little bit more in or custom functions and uh, and comments in app script we'll talk a little bit more about how to work with these in a another video. But for now, thanks for watching.